Hey guys, it's Ruby. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing our update video for May. Before I get into all the news, lots of shows, cocktail lounges, some rumors to address, I looked into my analytics and it shows me that about 70% of my regular viewers are not subscribers. So if that is you and you watch my videos pretty regularly, go ahead and hit that little button. It's free for you to do and it helps me to grow my channel. So I'd really appreciate if you would subscribe. Let's start with some big news. Aft Cocktail Lounge has opened at the Win. Aft is replacing Paracel Down and I have been getting DMs from a lot of you guys on Instagram showing me that you went, you guys really liked it, which is great and I'm gonna check it out but I'm a little worried. I'm seeing a lot of umbrellas up and some bulky furniture and I'm kind of worried it's blocking the view of the show for people sitting out on the patio. So I will go and I will try it out. The cocktails look incredible. The new menu looks really interesting and I will update you guys on my feelings about Aft. I really hope I like it because Parasol Down was one of my absolute favorite lounges. Speaking of really cool lounges, Rum Bar has opened. So you guys know we've been waiting to figure out what was gonna replace Rum Bar at the Mirage, and it turns out it's Rum Bar. <laughs> Basically, they just revamped the whole space. It looks really beautiful, kind of 50s and mod, and now they have all new cocktails there that look really fun and pretty, and it looks like a great space. So this is another one that I'm gonna go and check it out. That is open, you guys can go and check out Rum Bar. There's actually a really awesome sign outside like leading you into it. So they've really spruced it up. In more Mirage news, the volcano could be gone sooner than I even anticipated. We were thinking it was gonna last through the whole summer. I'm not even sure if that's the case, you guys. My suggestion, if you guys are gonna go to stay at Mirage, anytime in the end of the summer is maybe give a call and double check what the status is on the construction. You would hate to be staying there if there's a ton of construction happening out at the front of the building. Um, sad news that it's going away. No one wants to see the volcano go, but it, it's going and it seems like it could be going pretty soon. Ooh, let's talk about this Resorts World water park rumor. Okay. I don't know if you guys remember this. If you've been a long time viewer, comment below. But in September of last year, I actually dropped this rumor that Resorts World was gonna be building a water park. And that rumor has resurfaced and people were going kind of bananas over it. And it kind of even made some like pretty big news. And now Resorts World trying to say that that's not what's happening, that there is no water park. A PR person was quoted saying, no such plans are in place, but we look forward to sharing information on new developments in the future. So they're kind of denying that a water park is going here, but we had heard that from pretty high up in the resorts world ranks. So maybe something changed or they're just hiding that information. We don't know, but I will keep you guys updated as always. More Resorts World news. If you are staying at Resorts World, you get free entry into AU Day Club on Fridays and Sundays if you present your room key. That's kind of unheard of. A lot of day clubs are not run by the hotels. They're run by totally different companies. So it's usually its own separate entity. So the fact that you can stay at Resorts World and get in for free on those days is really cool. The only other place I know that does that is Dre's at the Cromwell because it's their only pool. So you can get free entry into Dre's. So if you're somebody who loves day clubs and you wanna try this one out, you don't wanna pay cover, stay at Resorts World for a day. You can go in on a Friday and have a really great time. I've been to AU and it's a really nice day club. It's a fun option if you are into pool parties. Okay, let's list some concerts and shows that are gonna be coming to Vegas for May. So down on Fremont in the free concert series called Downtown Rocks, we have the X Ambassadors coming on May 28th and Starship featuring Mickey Thomas coming on May 29th. You know that the downtown concerts are completely free. It costs you nothing to go. So that is a great activity for you to do if you are gonna be down on Fremont on those days. At Resorts World, we have Michael Buble, Carrie Underwood, and Katy Perry all performing in May. A couple of you guys have told me you're going to Katy Perry. I think she's gonna put on an amazing show. Jim Gaffigan, the fun tour, is gonna be at the Encore Theater at the Wynn. 
Friday, May 20th, and Saturday, May 21st. I think Jim Gaffigan's hilarious. <laughs> At the MGM Grand Garden Arena, we have Pearl Jam coming May 20th, and The Eagles May 28th. Chris Rock will be performing May 6th and 7th at the Coliseum at Caesars Palace. Snoop Dogg and Ice Cube with special guest Warren G at the Michelob Ultra Arena at Mandalay Bay on Saturday, May 14th. And then Lady Gaga, May 1st at Park MGM. Now, Lady Gaga had a home at Park MGM for a while. That's why they have that Lady Gaga like museum where you can see all her outfits and things. And I think they're handing around fake $100 bills of Lady Gaga right now, like going around to hype people up that she's coming back. So that's really exciting. I do love Lady Gaga. Other shows happening. We have a Canelo Alvarez fight at the T-Mobile Arena on May 7th. If you are gonna be in Vegas that week, be prepared. Boxing matches can really make things nuts in Vegas. It's a lot of fun, but it's very busy. Mad Apple, the new Cirque show at New York, New York is starting at the end of May. You guys remember I was talking about Mad Apple in a previous update. It is a New York themed show. There's gonna be comedians and acrobats and it's gonna be a perfect fit over at New York, New York. So excited to see a new Cirque show. You guys will have to check that one out. Can't wait to see how that one is. And we have some more Adele rumors. So you guys remember that Adele canceled her show super last minute, leaving a lot of fans very disappointed. Caesars was kind of in a huge bind. It was a really bad situation. And now there's rumors that she's trying to come back to Vegas again for a new residency. I know that she'd been in talks with MGM before she went over to Caesars. After having such a huge snafu with the show, I'd be curious to see if she will end up doing a residency or not. I know they lost a lot of money on that. I wanna shout out just a general safety tip really quick. I've seen a couple of dismaying tweets and things of people having things stolen from their rooms. You guys, I highly recommend you make sure your safe is working right when you walk into your room. And also be very wary of what you pack. I would not pack like really expensive jewelry or things that don't fit in the safe. And I mean, a, a standard laptop will fit in the safe. All of your cash can go in the safe. If you're not in your room, you should lock your things away. That's just my advice. You just don't know, and it's always good to be safe. Ooh, another crazy rumor went around that the pepper mill was gonna close. So, what happened was, is that you can no longer park on the side of the pepper mill. There's going to be a new business going there. I tried to look into what it is that's going next to the pepper mill, and I can't find it. Comment below if you guys know what they're putting there. I'm not sure, but, because you couldn't park on the side of the building, there was these crazy rumors going around that the Pepper Mill is closing. Pepper Mill shared on their stories on Instagram, we are not closing. You do have to park either in the front or the back of the Pepper Mill now because of our new neighbor, but we have a 10 year lease. We are not going anywhere, which thank goodness for that or I would have chained myself to the building. <laughs> You guys know I love the Pepper Mill so much. It's not going anywhere. That place has been here since the 70s and it is not leaving. So don't worry about that. Big changes coming to the Miracle Mile shops. I saw a Instagram post from the Miracle Mile shop stating that they are gonna be doing some new changes. Some big things are coming. They were pretty vague about it, but it sounds like some new shops, maybe that they're going to be doing some renovations to Miracle Mile. You guys know Miracle Mile is like the destination for good cheap food. You can get some shopping done in there. If you forgot something, you can hit up the H&M. So excited to see if they're gonna put some more things in there that might be really friendly for tourists that need to go in and grab something quick. By the time you guys are watching this video right now, I am getting on a plane. It is time to catch flights. We are going back to Vegas. We are heading there for the Palms Grand Reopening on April 27th. The Palms will be open to the public at nine o'clock. Everything is pretty much coming back. The Ace Buffet is coming back, Scotch 80 Prime, Mabel's Barbecue, those are all returning. However, Ghost Bar, which is their amazing rooftop bar, will not be reopening until June. And Green Street Kitchen is not returning. So I just wanted to let you guys know, those are all the offerings that are not coming back right away, but a lot is coming back. Very excited to check out this buffet. Of course, I'm gonna be doing all kinds of videos for you guys. I'm gonna let you know about our stay there and let you know how the buffet is. So stay tuned for those videos. So that is our May update, you guys. Tons of shows coming to Vegas. 
We are gonna be going live a ton this week, so make sure you are subscribed, hit that notification so that you guys can see when we go live. And when we get back, we're gonna have tons and tons of amazing Vegas content for you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you all in my next video.